Okay, so let's uh, begin with this. Now everything is running. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the index.js. I can close everything now. Let me just close, right click, close all, and I'm gonna open the index.js. Of course, we're gonna use Redux, and so we need to make the configurations, bring all the Redux logic, and you know, connect the debugger and everything else. So that's the first thing we need we need to do. So I'm gonna go here and uh, okay. Before I'm gonna do this, uh, we know that we need to pass the reducers to the uh, you know to the create store. If not, it will give us an error message. So I'm just gonna go and do it right now. I'm gonna create a new folder. You could call this RC. I'm gonna call it app just to change things a little bit. You could call it uh, call it uh, SRC or source or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Now inside of the app directory, I'm gonna create a store directory. I'm not just gonna put the files inside here. I'm just gonna create a, a directory called store and everything that got to do with Redux, we're gonna put it right here. So right from the start, we will need two things. We, we will get actions and we will get reducers, right? So let me create the directory reducers. All right, so in a little bit, we're gonna use types. So I'm gonna create a file called types. .js. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go to reducers and we know that we need an index of reducers. So I'm going to say index.js. Now the first reducer we're going to use is the users reducer. Uh, and that's the file where we're going to handle all the everything I got to do with users, you know, the login, logout and everything else. So again, I'm just going to create it right now. I'm going to call it user reducer. You could call it whatever you want, reducer.js. All right. Let's go. Now I'm going to go here to the index and uh, I'm going to start bringing some of the logic right here. We need to uh, import and we need to import the combined reducers. We can already did this combine reducers uh, from Redux, right? From Redux. Let me just adjust the keyboard just a little bit. It's a little bit weird. All right, Redux. What else? Well, we need to create a variable with this root reducer. Remember root reducer. And this one is going to be equal to the combined reducers and we need to pass an object with whatever reducer we're going to add and then of course export default and root reducer all right so we need to put something right here and this is going to be the user reducer so i'm going to go here and uh i'm going to do the export default first export default then function and i'm going to open and close all right so first we need the state to be an empty object and then we will get an action, an action from the actual dispatch, you know, from the actions. And then, of course, we need a switch. And I'm not going to use the uh, I'm not going to use the types the files right now. I'm going to use it later because maybe you don't know why we would use types. So whenever we get uh, the chance to use it, I'm going to show you why we use types. So I'm going to say action type. It's not the same as this types. Okay, it's it's actually uh, pretty similar, but not not the same thing. So in this case, I'm going to say case. And I'm going to say sign in. And I'm going to do it, of course, with string sign in. So this is the only thing I'm going to do right now. Then, of course, we're going to uh, do something very particular with this. So, of course, we need to, uh, on this one, we need to return something. And on this one, I'm just going to return an empty object. Of course, much, uh, much later, we're going to add all the logic. For now, I'm just going to put uh, this right here so we can get no errors when we run the application. And then, of course, uh, I'm going to do pretty much uh, the same thing, return state. I could do same thing here because it's an empty object. So later we're going to use the types uh, file. But right now, if you don't know what it is, uh, it's going to get a little confusing. So I'm going to show you why we use the types and you know show you uh, on the screen what, what, why we are going to use it because we're going to get an error. But don't worry. Okay, so this one is done. The only thing we need to do right now is to go to the uh, reducers and import the user reducer or whatever you want to call it. So you import, I'm going to call it uh, maybe user or it could be users. I'm going to put it user. So from dot forward slash user reducer. And now we get something on the root reducer. All right. Later, we're going to get news and games reducer. For now, we just get user. All right. So this one is uh, pretty much done. I'm going to close the types and I'm going to go back to the index.js because now we get a user uh, reducer. So I'm going to do import and first we need to import the provider. And again, this one is from React Redux is kind of the bridge between React and Redux. So Redux. All right. Next, we need to import uh, the actual Redux. So it's create uh, store. 
Then I'm gonna do coma and we're gonna do apply and then middleware, right? And then coma and we're gonna use compose because we want the debugger. So it's gonna be from and then Redux. If you want to copy all of this from the previous section, uh, from the Redux uh, side of the course, you can totally do it. So I'm gonna bring the promise middleware and let me do it correctly. Promise uh, middleware and it's from uh, Redux then promise. All right, all right, man, you're good. So import, we need the reducers. So import reducers from, and in this case, it's gonna be from dot app dot forward slash store forward slash then reducers. And actually we don't need the uh, index. We just need user reducer. Oh, sorry, it's just reducer, that one. But that's okay, since it's an index, we don't need to bring it. Okay, so now we need to uh, bring the depth tools. So cons, const, then compose and enhancers. And of course this name is just the usual one. You can use whatever you want. So underscore, underscore, Redux, underscore, depth tools, underscore, extension, underscore, compose, underscore, underscore. And then we do the pipes and compose. All right. Okay, so then we need to create the store with middleware. So const create, store with middleware. Again, you can call this whatever you want. So I'm gonna do create store, open and close. Now this one will need first the reducers, just like this, then coma, and we do the compose enhancers, and we need to pass something inside, which is the apply middleware we are bringing right here at the top. So apply middleware, and we're gonna use that promise middleware we are using at the top. So notice that everything is just not grayed out. The only thing we need right now is the uh, provider. So for this one, remember we used uh, an app Redux. You could call it app or whatever you want. Uh, right here, you're kind of an importing app. So, you know, you, we, not, we must not use that one. So I'm gonna go here and just return some JSX. And this will be the provider. Let me find it first, open and close. And in this one, we will get the app. Now, if you remember, uh, we are using the app right here. So instead of just using the app on the root directory, I'm gonna grab the app. I'm gonna put it inside the app. So all the uh, React logic uh, is gonna be inside app. And I'm gonna say no. And the only file uh, from React outside the uh, source, the outside, outside of the app is gonna be index.js. So I'm gonna go back to index. And now this route, it's incorrect. We want to bring app from dot, then app, and then app, not store, app. All right, sorry, I'm gonna go back. It's app forward slash, and then we could call this index, actually. I'm gonna say index. And I'm gonna go and change the app for index. It's you know a little bit better. So index.js. So of course this index, it's the index of the app we get right here, not this main index. All right, I'm gonna go back and we are bringing now app from index, not store, sorry. There we go. Okay, so we get the app. The only thing we need to do is to pass the create store with middleware. So I'm gonna go to provider. I'm gonna say store equals open and close and we pass the whole logic. And now, since we get the app on App Redux, I'm gonna go here and say that we want to use that App Redux. So if everything's cool, the only thing we need to do is just reload the application. And if we get something wrong, it's because I did something wrong. And let me just double check why. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm importing, and of course, is this one's at the top, maybe? No, not this one's. So let me just double check. Okay, so I guess this is the one. It's App with a you know small with a, a lowercase store and then reducers. So we should be getting it now. And okay, that's cool. You know, that's that's all right. We are using some, some JSX right here. So we need to import right here, uh, React. So import and then React from and then React, of course. All right, okay. So hopefully everything's okay. So good, it works gonna reload the application on Android and we are getting it. Okay, so we are pretty much done with this. Now on the next one, we're gonna go to the app uh, file, which now it's the index. 
So on this one, uh, of course, uh, we pretty much load the application. This is the kind of a, the first thing that it's gonna it's gonna run the index.js. Now, if you remember, we have the we, we need to use the React Native navigation. So we need to set up the, all the routes and all the screens. We're gonna use two types of navigation. So we need to all, do all that logic. At the beginning, it's gonna be a little bit confusing, but I'm gonna go really slow on what we need to do here. And uh, you know, you, you're gonna get it. So let's go to the next one and begin building the logic for React navigation.